Welcome to Tesla Bytes, where we serve you GIS in small bytes. Today we'll be covering ArcGIS Pro, navigating the interface symbology properties. Let's get started. Here we are with some Houston imagery, and what I'd like to see is both my parcels and my zip codes. Unfortunately, you see the topmost layer is blocking the one below. So why don't we start by making that hollow? Notice that when we click on the symbology here, you see a new pane open up. Now we can quickly resolve this by choosing a simple black outline. And now we can see our parcels below. But why don't we dive in a little bit deeper and move on to our parcels. With the parcels data, I don't want to have to use transparency to see the imagery below. So I'm going to go ahead and select properties. And I'm going to remove that fill color. And then I'm going to change the outline color to something more eye pleasing. And I'll click apply. Now let's zoom into Houston downtown. Here you can see our polygons or our parcels are a bit more difficult to make out. So I'm going to enable scale based sizing, click the plus, and drag it to my scale range. Since I'm under 10,000, noting down here, I'm going to increase the width of my outline. I'd like it to be around two points. And when I'm even closer, somewhere around three points works for me. Then I'll check over here, and we're still at point seven. Take note of this. Now I'm going to click Apply. Notice how I can see my lines much better. But when I zoom back out to where I was before, you're going to notice something different. The line width has increased significantly. And that's because the scaled base sizing is linear. So I need to add a couple more points here so that the change isn't so abrupt. Currently, my scale goes from 2 point at 10,000 to 0.7 point at 100 million. So why don't we add with the plus here one more scaling and put it in near the 24,000 mark. At this point, I'd like it to be at that 0.7 mark or even 0.5. And then I'll go over here to the far end and change it even further to 0.3 or 0.2. Click Apply. Now see the difference. Now let's return to the downtown view. We can verify that the two-point thickness around the parcels has remained. And if we zoom in further to a nearby residential area, we can see that the three-point setting has also remained. I think this is a great stopping point. If you'd like to watch more, please check out our playlist. And if you have any other topics you'd like to see, please view the description and contact us. This has been Tessel Bytes, where we serve you GIS in small bytes. Please be sure to visit us at www.tessellations.us. Also, subscribe and ring that bell.